Hi guys, well I'm going to take you through this journey how to travel to Nigeria especially for this summer time so follow me in this video as I'm going to take you step by step how you're going to take your um, pre departure protocol that you need, to, you need to follow and also all information regarding your travel information and uh, how the journey is going to look like especially when you're traveling especially for family and individuals who want to travel for summer so this particular trip, I'm going to show you step by step on how you can make your travel down from England to Nigeria. Follow me this video as I'm going to try to train. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and go for my PC out there. And from there, take you all the way around to the airport and all the procedures step by step to get into Nigeria without no hassle. Follow me this vlog. Thank you guys. Cheers. This train now. Uh, this train will connect me. I'm actually ready to go to Central London to boot. Boot uh, is. Uh, I've got an appointment to do my uh, PCR test. Central London Liverpool Street, exactly. So I'm already in the train. I'm going to connect from here, Jubilee Line, at Canning Town, then to Bond Street, then over to Liverpool, find my way from there. Then I'll take you guys along. Thank you for this journey. Thank you guys. So I just uh, jumped from one train to another. Uh, right now, from back now to Liverpool Street. I'm going to come up now from Liverpool Street and look out for that uh, boot store where I have the appointment for my PC uh, for COVID 19 test. You know, this part of the procedure, you know, the first part of the MSC after the I'm now at the Liverpool Street here. Yeah. So I'm going to start uh, to look for where I can do the. Uh, uh, the store where I put for my PC out test along the Liverpool Street, guys. Most of that attraction is where you are actually traveling along the central and lower part of London. Um, right here on that ground of Liverpool Street, I come up on that massive, always buzzing street of Liverpool Street in Liverpool. Yeah, we are. So, most important for me now is just to get myself, get my boom out of this uh, central, you know, um, waiting area of a little lounge of Liverpool Street. This is actually a very massive, you know. A central part of London, which you can travel to every part of the world, as you can see, Liverpool Street out there. You see a lot the of train, train overground the train there, the going to different parts of England, and uh, so many places across uh, the UK here, right from Liverpool Street. So, if I'm making my way out, it can be very, very busy around here. Sometimes I will do it very quick, but then do it very deep. Yeah. In this case, we do a bit the other way around. So we don't go as deep, but we take a bit longer to ensure we're still getting a good sample. Oh, that's so that way it's a bit more comfortable. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. 
so I just think that's best man now. Hopefully, it be ready within the next 48 hours. Yes, yeah. so 24 to 48 hours. And then once it's ready, we'll be sent an email. That will have a link to where the results are kept. Yeah. Then on the same page, you'll be able to download the travel step. Yeah. And check beforehand with your airline if you need to get it printed off, present sure. it, or if you need to upload it to their website, maybe. Really different from where you travel with. Good. Any other questions, sir? What I think that should be, that should be all right. So hopefully, I'm expecting to have the results sent to me. Yeah, I'm receiving the notification by email. Yeah. Um, for the uh, travel time. So thank you guys for watching. I'll continue on this journey as I've just done my PCR COVID-19 swab test now. So hopefully, following the procedure as Nigeria says, 72 hours before you travel, you need to have a negative test. So whatever the outcome the result dictates, if you need to travel to Nigeria, Thankfully, it's hampered up uh, country has uh, been designated by the UK travel uh, um, rules. Thank you guys. So let's continue with this vlog. Yeah, all seem to be getting ready now for um, travel from UK to Nigeria, especially in this summer time. Well, I'm going through the procedure of getting the um, Nigeria key hard code, which I'm, you must have done online, registered after having received the negative the PCR test. Now I'm going to go on board now to the flight. I'm going to hear from my local airport is the airport. So guys, what I'm saying is well the plane is actually ready out there. It's waiting. So I'm just on the uh, it's a boarding airline now right here. All the right way to Amsterdam first. Anyway, it's actually a very uh, small aircraft from London to Poland. So I'm going to hop myself into the seat. Let me just pick up for my seat number. There we go. Been the journey so far is after I get uh, tested uh, negative for the uh, PCR, then I just have to uh, go and register on the Nigeria portal NITP dot uh, NT NTCD something like that Nigeria portal Nigeria International uh, Travel Portal, which you have to enter the details of yourself. Um, the details uh, include your personal details, uh, where you're traveling from, your passport number. If you are a resident of Nigeria, you put Nigeria passport. Then also you have to um, uh, put all the information as it comes, the prompt comes, then up to where you upload your uh, PCR certificate. Then after that, you may have to go uh, to uh, uh, also a payment section. But that's a little bit glitch in that area. But all being solved because um, the fact is, when you attempt to fill out the NITP, most people have this usual problem of uh, they didn't get the receipt or something like that or whatever, or they can't make a payment. If you're traveling from abroad, I think my advice is for you to use your to try to pay in dollars by using your uh, debit or credit card from abroad. So what, once you are already choosing the lab you want to do your um, test in Nigeria, as is, you know, it is required. You have to do a test in Nigeria when you get there. If you are traveling from uh, uh, whichever country you are traveling from, especially if you are there are some specified countries like Brazil, India, and some other few, Turkey, which Nigeria have uh, signified as the most uh, uh, like a red list kind of. So, if you are traveling from that area, you have to do your piece. You have to do test within 24 hours of arriving and also do another test also maybe seven days or two days after so that is the procedure you're going to see the information there but if you are traveling from other countries which nigeria regard as amber or green countries you still have to follow the same procedure of filling out the um, 
book your book your onward test in Nigeria seven days after after your self isolation. You have to give the you know your contact details and everything like that so that uh, you now go for your, your uh, test uh, after seven days of staying or self isolation in Nigeria. Yeah, that's it. But as for payment issue, what you need to do is um, make sure you have your debit card. Try to pay. There'll be a prompt for you to pay in dollars. Um, you charged me about one or five dollars, which is about seventy-five pounds. Yeah, you know, in UK. So that's sorted. But the fact is, sometimes you may get a response to the receipt saying unpaid. You may have to go back to that portal again where it is to make payment and click again in order to have your maybe more money authorized or something like that because that's the issue most people do not easily find it easy so when you go to the portal again under payment the next section is make payment you click that then that gives you um, that will easily make your you get a receipt via email the fact is most airlines want to make sure that you have a paid your own work test in Nigeria before they get lift you. That's the issue most of us are the facing as passengers. So you have to make sure you've made the payment. They uh, do not accept maybe or your unpaid FKR code. It has to be shown as paid. So you have to make sure you do that as soon as possible. So in my own case, in my own case, I did it while I'm at the airport. I did the payment because I've tried overnight. I didn't go through them. Then I tried again. Well, all the same. It says paid. Well, that's how it goes now, ready to fly. As you can see, passengers are waiting, we're ready to go all the way. From here, I'm going to travel to Holland first before heading to onwards to Nigeria later on in the day. Hopefully, I'll catch up with these guys as I go on. I'll continue to give you the updates. Thank you, guys. So we're arriving a little bit early in Amsterdam. Prior to landing, I'll update you on the extra arrival time and give you some latest weather information as well. For that, I'd like to be sure you carry it. So you guys, yeah, just uh, change it over here. So connecting to the um, flight from Amsterdam to Lagos. So I'm just, I'm just disembarking right now, and uh, here we go. So I'm going to show you just a quick transfer, which actually does not really, it's not as as you. We're in the form of one of the biggest airports in Europe, as you can see. Uh, Shifu Airport right here. So changing over just as, as ease as it is. So just get on board. Here we go. So you're yes. coming up from the aircraft from the city hopper from the London City Airport. Just as easy as that. So you follow me on this one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please why not do so now? Let me have your comments so far. This journey from is to take it easy to simplify how you can travel during this time, especially during the summer, from England to Nigeria. If you need to transit through uh, Amsterdam or any other European destination. So this is it. How simple as it is. I'm sure you on this vlog. Please stay tuned and let me have your comments. <laughs> Schedule is about um, an hour interval, so between uh, 
next 60 seconds. I should be, you know, boarding the next flight to Lagos. Let's take a view of the Shifu Airport in the meantime and see the changes so far. You know, it is one of the biggest airports we have around, you know, in Europe. And if you call it the most beautiful one, I'll take a tour of Shifu Airport in the GB. Stay tuned. So here's the moment, we're just uh, back in from the bus and now we're going through this uh, Amsterdam ship for here, both through the transfer. So I feel it's going to be just about a few, you know, less than an hour to so keep holding to Nigeria from here. So it's just as simple as it is. Um, this is it. Yeah, we should be ready to show our boarding pass in order to get our... If you stay in the Netherlands, stay part of the PCR test. So we're going to uh, show through of our uh, PCR test or transit uh, documentation or body pass or stuff like that. So that's been checked right here. So I've been told I need to show my body pass. I'm connecting from here to yes, Lagos. Yes. So I'm being um, presenting my body pass. You go to Lagos. To Lagos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So that's been done. Just I need to follow up the luggage here. So that's been checked here. Just for transit, so guys, I'll just check. And then, uh, don't forget at this point, it's just need to um, fill out a health declaration from which we are given at the uh, first uh, flight. The health declaration form which need to be filled out, possibly to be you know presented to the uh, border officers. So here we are. Now I'm going to take you around the tour of the ship over here, but this is it. Connecting from uh, Amsterdam to Lagos, it's been each free so far. As you can see, passengers are actually boarding uh, um, a KLM 587, you know, going to Lagos, which actually has been smooth and easy for all passengers having followed of uh, maybe having all their documentation in place and then having their COVID um, negative test already. Um, uploaded to the NITC uh, website, Nigeria International Travel Portal. So I think the journey has been so smooth. Everyone seems to be, you know, following the guidelines. So there's nothing to worry about. If you need to travel then, from wherever you're coming from, just know that it's not part of the red listed countries, uh, like Brazil, India, and some other places. So it has just been smooth. So we see how it goes when we land Lagos. I'll give you the brief. So far, we have a, a lot of Nigerians and all Nigerians lining up to embark on the plane, a waiting plane, which is just right here. So I hope, uh, yeah, things are uh, going up smoothly. As long as you produce your uh, QR code, which yeah, must have already, you know, must have already, must have already paid for and uh, present to the officials of the KLM of the airline. So it's been going up smoothly. We can ask you to hold your own boarding pass and passport ready for inspection. Please open your pass. PR code already, you know, uh, that's a note on your boarding pass that PR code is paid. Uh, it's received already, so it's just smooth as passengers are just passing through the checks. Just to go. Okay.